Alright, it is May 14th. Yeah, May 14th, 2011. And uh, it's Saturday. We're just out here in Springville heading towards Spanish Fork. You can see we got the uh, new camera installed up on the uh, cab of the truck. So now we've got a view that shows us the whole bed area. We can get all that on DVR. And then as, we, as well, we can also get the what we see from the backup camera when we're backing up to the repos themselves. Kind of nice. And I've got a third channel I'm going to use for something else. Probably a uh, front bumper camera of some sort to catch the uh, footage of anything that happens in front of the truck. It's just getting nowadays where we just have to not only film everything but hit every angle. And as I, you know, progress with this technology thing, I learn, you know, what works and what doesn't work. And uh, you can never have too many cameras and too many angles catching everything that's going on because a lot of stuff happens off camera. And, it's better to get it all. It gives a more realistic picture of what happened. So we're working on deploying cameras that will uh, actually be able to put across the street from a repo that can strap to a pole or be magnetic or have some kind of a portable stand that we can put in a bush and we can preset it and hit record before we even start the repo and get a panoramic shot of what was going on at the house uh, as well as up front and up close. So we'll start playing with that and then future videos we here pretty quickly. Hopefully we'll start seeing some different angles that will make them videos more interesting but I, I was out riding the motorcycle and the weather started to turn on us we knew it was going to later in the afternoon and it's uh it's one now so uh i uh, was getting ready to turn around and head back on the bikes i don't want to get caught in the rainstorm and i uh, decided to check one more address and i went by and it's a saturday today and a lot of people move on saturdays and that's why we like to go out and check addresses on the motorcycle if we got good weather and sure enough, I caught these people right in the middle of a move. And every time we've gone by this address, yeah, just hang on, okay? You'll have your turn. Every time we've gone by this address, the vehicle's been in the garage and they won't answer the door. This guy filed bankruptcy and it got discharged back in 2010. And the guy hasn't, you know, he reaffirmed on the loan and hasn't kept his payments. It's a common thing that we see after bankruptcies. And the finance company can't sue him because of the PK and the way the bankruptcy laws work and so we are their only option to get that vehicle and he is, it's a nice vehicle it's a uh it's a rendezvous and anyway so i cruise by and there's the rendezvous sitting out in the uh, public parking uh, area for the uh it's like a townhome area you'll see when we get there and they had a they have a u-haul back right up to their garage so <laughs> we uh, slapped a gps device on it and uh cruise back up and now we're in the f-250 and we're gonna get this thing hooked. So we'll be there in just a second. We'll uh, start video. All right, so we're just coming up on the address here. You can see it right there on the GPS. We've actually got a couple out in this area that we've been checking, but this is the one we're after right now. So uh, as we're heading into the area, we're obviously watching to see if we see the vehicle because we know that they're moving. They can be making trips back and forth right now to another location. So we uh, want to make sure that we hit them when they're, we don't want to have them heading out and be gone for a half hour, 45 minutes while we just sit there and wait. But uh, we just drove by the neighborhood. We're just coming in here. You see that storm's coming in real fast from the Spanish Fork Canyon. Those big old windmills over there cranking. That mouth of that canyon gets a lot of wind coming out of there. This town's notorious for the wind gusts that come through here sometimes rip roofs right off of houses and stuff but uh that storm is coming right down that canyon so we want to try to get this thing hooked and get out of here what we don't know at this point is whether it's an all-wheel drive or a front wheel drive uh, but it is pulled into where we can only get it from the rear so we're probably gonna end up dolling it if it's the fastest way uh we'll see what happens here um, just pulling up on this address right now get my clip ready Coming in the back way, they actually came out this way on the motorcycle. <clears throat> there, right around this corner, the moving truck was backed right in the driveway, and the garage was open. And I glanced in as I went by to make sure that they had a lot of stuff left to go, so I knew they weren't going to be disappearing on me. Yeah, the moving truck's still there, and they've got the vehicle parked just up the street here in what looks like uh, public parking, and it's still sitting there. So. 
we're going to back up to it and hook it from the rear the tight parking lot switch our camera view idea is to get the vehicle ready to roll before there's any contact that's the optimum situation with each recovery Just to be to that point where you know you can roll no matter what happens you're not you can't get you can't be blocked in you're not on private property Securely fastened to your lift. Of course, that hasn't always stopped people from getting them back. Doors are locked. It's got a shifter on the column, so it can't be put in neutral. I'm not sure if it's an all wheel drive. Flex fuel. CX Yeah, it's all wheel So Dolly's busted one time out on the field and we lost our safety. It keeps this from flipping back around. And I learned this little trick right here. Out in the field you can take a good heavy duty strap down and shorten it up into a little shorty and make it a custom length. And it's the best safety because it's literally got both tires ratcheted into each other and it's a good backup for the ones that come on them and so now I do it as a backup on every hookup it's one more level of safety that you don't throw a dolly alright so at this point we've had no contact and we're ready to roll other than the lights and so since we know we're getting straight out on the freeway and everything's code four, we'll go ahead and put the lights on now. Every step of the process can change at any minute. And you tell yourself, if this happens and I get to this point, then I'll do this. And you just keep working through it until something interrupts that process. And then you go to the plan B that you already figured out in your head. There's 
the uh, new camera from Edge Products. Got night vision. It catches the whole bed area. Very nice. So they're up the street here moving. I have no idea we're down here taking this. So we're going to pull up now and get keys from them. Let's see if there's anything they want to get out of it because this guy is not getting this vehicle back. Not on a bankruptcy discharge. You reaffirm and screw up, the finance company is done with you. Gotta watch that curb, the dollies. Always gotta know where every corner's at, what it's doing. No surprises. All right, let's go knock on Omar's door. Ooh, it's windy out there. Here comes the storm. We just barely beat it. Is Omar here? So right now she's going inside to get him and I've got to be running through my head. Is the guy going to come out cool? <clears throat> Is he going to come out aggressive? Has he been drinking? Is he high on something? Before he even approaches me, I've got to read his body language and figure out what's going to happen. And you got to know if someone's going to just walk up on you and drill you one right in the forehead. Because you don't know what she's telling him in there right now. She could be telling him nothing and just saying, hey, there's a guy out front. Or she could be telling him, hey, they got your car. And he's already in his mind getting pissed off, grabbing a weapon. He's had it with his life. Are you Omar? Yeah, you guys want to get some stuff out of the vehicle? Does he speak English? <laughs> you want to get some stuff out of the vehicle? Personal property um, before we take it? He doesn't have to. If he's planning on getting it back to, on Monday, he can just leave it as is and just come down and get it back with everything in it. Where do we get it from? Or? Just contact the finance company in Orem and then they'll t Danny, the manager, he'll yeah. tell them how to get it back. No, that's where we're taking it to right now. So, can we get a key though? Yeah. <coughs> Is it Yavis? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Yavis. Yavis. Ooh, that wind. Man, we just barely beat this storm. Yep, that spot right there where that ramp's going is where our vehicle's been parked. <clears throat> so now they've had an opportunity to come out and assess the situation. You guys moving in or moving out? Moving out. Oh, there you go. awesome. All right. And he has a good number to contact them? Um, do you? It's, uh, it's just, it's their, the main office number. If you Google, okay. it'll come up. All it's right. the Orem office. Okay. All right. You sit up here farting in my seat. Told you about that. All right. Get it raised up the rest of the way. Yeah. On the road. 
and went just about as perfect as I could have planned it. That was a plan A right there. Hooked from the rear, turned out to be all-wheel drive, dollies on the front. We, we are the ones that initiated contact, which statistically, if we initiate contact and do it at the right time, it's uh, there's a lot less confrontation. When they initiate contact, for some reason, you look at the numbers, you know, I, I track all that stuff on repos. I go back and I analyze every repo and all the information about it goes into a database and we look at, you know, who initiated contact, what time of the day was it, what area were we in, who was the bank, you know, all that stuff. And we run all that data through uh, reports that I've written that tell us some pretty intriguing things about the business. There's a whole science behind everything we do. Any business you do, there's a science behind it. And once you are able to figure that out, you take it to a whole new level. But good repo. Glad to have it. So this is fucking